It almost looked like the tree thingy, the tree trunk, the age ring. So it kind of have that feel to it. It's pretty cool. My, I think it's cool that they have a, like a matte gold with a shiny gold that says Tiger Blend on it. I like that. I don't like the... Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we have something mm, in a way I am perplexed. I am confused. Not confused. I am. I don't know how to reveal this one. But here it goes. It's the EP Carrillo Aura Shen Xiao, which is Zodiac. And this is the Tiger. All right, so they decided to release all 12 Zodiac, the Chinese Zodiac, into one package and release it with 12 different cigars. Six and a, six and an eighth by 52 torpedo. And they give you these cards that's in there for each Zodiac that has different, I don't know, blend or something like that. And then they put it in a box that I have a lot of bones to pick. And then charge you a thousand dollar. Yep. That box of cigar is one thousand dollar, which makes each cigar eighty four dollars ish. Eighty three point three three three. However you want to go with it. This particular one <clears throat> Tiger is Ecuadorian Sumatra Escuro, finest Dominican and Phyllis Dominican and Nicaraguan. So let's talk about this box. All right, and hopefully, I Albert will have the box out there. The box itself looks good. It looks premium, right? Uh, it, it has this extension that puts the car in the bottom, which kind of don't make sense. But it's got that Asian humidity grill thing on the top to make it look like it's a lot more than it's not. Okay. I give you that. That's design. Designs are good. I give you that. Okay. And then... Is packaged and packaged in a velvety thing. I give you that. Very, very cool. Very, very collectible. But there is one part, which is the outside of the box. There is a ring. And that ring, let me make sure, has the zodiacs. But they use the wrong word. They start the the rat right at 12 o'clock and went all the way around. But rat should be at 1 o'clock all the way around. But that is not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that they use the word rat, cow, tiger, right? Or rat, boat, tiger, um, you know, rabbit. Try again, you know, all this regular word. So I went online and I grabbed a picture. And it shows you the 12 zodiacs. But you can see this work, there's characters under the 12 zodiacs. The orange word is the description of the actual zodiac. It's actually 12, it's 12, 12 different uh, times of time. So each one word represents two hours. Okay, so through the 12 is 24 hours. Okay, 
The problem with that is they use the Fujiak character. Or pink or purple, how you want to call it, depends on your monitor, okay? To describe them, which is the the zodiac itself. You will never ever put that. You will never ever put that as 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 a description on on a uh design. If you gotta design something like that around, you will use the two hour symbol. Alright? which means tiny um, would be um, symbolizing rat okay like for 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 each one there is one specific character to rec represent it but you decided to use the wrong word in in a way it's just not following what it's supposed to be because a lot of Asian things we have two sets of everything all right, pretty much. We have two sets of number. We have two sets of it's just like Japanese. We have two sets of number, just like Korean. We have two sets of number. But for Zodiac, we have two sets of description, and they should have used the correct set, the official set, not the common people set. How that when I say common people means that everybody will remember that. Everybody will know what it what it is. They will know that's rat. Right. That's like that's not how you do it. So that kind of ruins it for me. If that was Correct? It will have been perfect. But that wasn't correct. So it is what it is. Alright. So now that we already talked about the rappers Sumatra and uh, Ecuadorian Sumatra, Escuro, Finest Dominican, Fearless Dominican, and Nicaragua, we are going to cut it and smoke it. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, by the way, to fit the theme, I got another red drink. So, Eric, smoke one if you have one, said, Prime tastes pretty good with cigar, so why don't you get a Prime to taste with cigar? I personally think Prime tastes like crap, but we'll see. I think Prime went through a lawsuit too, but not so Prime anymore. All right. They got off that red band, and we're gonna cut. The draw is loose draw. We'll light it up. I mean, the band, I guess I won't pick on it yet. Let's try on the cigar first. Flaming Tiger! Okay. Now, let's be fair here. Because the box is extraordinary and it's like uh, specially planned. We start off with twenty dollars just for the box. Okay, this cigar just had to make sixty dollars. So I, when, when I give you the the review, I'll include that twenty. But you will know why it starts off twenty. Even if it's the worst 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 scenario, it will have twenty because of that box. I also like, don't like the fact that they put one of each in there because yes you can collect one of each right there but if you smoke one you broke the collection it makes no sense smoke one you broke the collection it's much easier if i buy one box at a time 12 years in a row than buying that one box and smoke one and break your collection right there you know it's a good idea it's a bad idea i don't know It's cedary, it's earthy, a little bit of pepper. Just a little bit. It's like chili pepper, kind of spicy. Mm. 
It has a little bit of leftover taste too. I don't know if it tried to be sour or spicy. I mean, not sour or, or sweet. I, I don't know which one it tried to go. It has a little bit of, I want to say caramel. Yeah, a little bit of caramel. Caramel. Um, to the taste. So it kind of finish in the nose sweet, but not necessary on the draw. And because of loose draw, I think this is going to give me issues because it's already running this way. And I can feel this missing tobacco right here. So whoever roll it. Mm. Okay. All right. I got to smoke for one third. And we'll talk about this because right now it's the same. But I don't know what stands out. I don't know what. Like, it's not. It's just that three thing, four things. It's not really impressive that it should have been as an $84 cigar. I guess I was over overwhelmed by the box and design and the packaging, but underwhelmed by the initial taste. So hopefully I can get more excited after a few pop. Oh yeah. I should get a sip of this thing. See what happens. Oh. All right. Fruit punch flavor. Very, 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 very sweet. And that sweet is so artificial. It has a little bit of sourness to it. It ends sour. Damn. There is zero grams of sugar, but three grams of carbohydrate, which means there is some sort of sugar alcohol in here. So I'm looking for it. Sucrose, potassium sorbet. Okay. I don't think Yeah, just sucrose and citric acid. That's two sugar in here. Yeah, 150% of vitamin B. We'll see. Be right back. What would you call this one third? What would you call this one third? Yeah, uh, that's not how a $84 should perform, but it, it did, it did. So I'm gonna fix it. I just wanna show you that it did happen. So it's not just me saying it. So uh, EP Curio, can I have another one, please? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let me fix it. It does kind of try to finish some uh, sweet. It tries to finish sweet. Pepper kind of wear down a little bit, but still there. It's more to the retro hill now. I mean, I wouldn't say that the flavor is bad. The flavor is pretty good. I mean, that combination of cedar and caramel um, is it's, it's actually not bad. The little earthiness, I think, is what stops that cedar from going beyond and be really, like, really get that caramel sweet. So, mm, at this point, I'm going to say, including the box, okay? 
totally gotta get killed for this. Um, at, at this moment, it's probably including the box at thirty-five dollars a guy. Uh, it's got this particular one, and the reason is because this particular one has bad construction. And when I say bad construction, I mean it has a very loose draw. It doesn't burn well. It's tried to tunnel to the side. Uh, it's missing tobacco in here. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this time this part has a little dimple in because it's missing tobacco. I can press it in there. This part is hard. This it goes in. So I know that there is a tunnel somewhere that's holding back the cigar from burning correctly. But yeah, I'll continue to smoke it. And, and, and you know, before I go too far, right now I have to take a sip and wait like freaking two or three minutes before I take a puff because this thing is so sweet that it erases every flavor that you can possibly have because it's just so sweet. So when Eric tell you Oh, it tastes pretty good pairing a prime. There we go. Taste buds dead. <laughs> There's no way to taste anything after this. There's no way. You're not tasting anything after that. It just tastes that fruit punch sweetness. It just it lingers. It's like, hey, I'm sugar. I'm here. I'm gonna go look for my friend diabetes. That kind of shit going on. So uh yeah, don't don't peel with that. We'll switch to water. So yeah, let me go smoke through the second, third, and we'll look at the band a little bit. I don't know if I can pick on it, but you know, there's some good quality to that band. We'll be right back. <laughs> Two third. Now it doesn't taste bad. The flavor is there. It gets sweeter as it goes. It's about a medium to full, medium plus um, strength. I, I want to consider that as a, con a a transition, but it's not really a transition. It's just that I think it's just because now it starts to burn better. Because I had to fix it a few times. As you can see, this thing's tried to tunnel uh, while I'm smoking it. I think it's not fully packed with tobacco correctly. It's not. It's a bad construction for th for this particular cigar. So it doesn't have that. I don't know what they tried to trans trans transpire, try to dis deliver. So I, I struggle to get to that eighty-four dollar range. I struggle, struggle, and it's very. It's, I was just it's, it's consistent with the flavor. It doesn't have any other flavor. It doesn't transition that much. It just gets stronger in terms of the flavor. The more pleasant note gets stronger than the non pleasant note. That's it. But is it an 80 something dollars you got? Uh, no, I, I, other than other than the fact that they put the package together and they tried to sell it as a limited edition and try to uh, make it convenient for the collector in a way, convenient for the collector. I, I don't see why this cigar will be $84. Right, because if you think of it this way, even Davidoff sells their year of the uh, rabbit the highest price of, of all the cigar that's in the year of fifty dollars in their in their lineup. This thing is additional thirty something dollar over, and I understand the the box is nice, but you know making that box the way Davidoff make it is not cheap either. So I I, I can't I struggle to get there. I struggled to get there. Now, let's talk about this band. I think it's cool that they have a, like a matte gold with a shiny gold that says Tiger Blend on it. I like that. I don't like the way they say Sen Xiao on it. Because no one is going to understand other than Chinese people. Even though they sell kind of worldwide kind of thing. But Sen Xiao, people don't do that. You might as well write the Chinese Sen Xiao on it. And people are understand it. Well, and you know, just write Zodiac. Because I think Zodiac is actually cool. More of a cool name than Shen Xiao. Yeah, no one's going to understand that. So I, there's some good, some bad. I do like the way they put like, you know, some background, like darker color to be that tiger looking thing. Um, I personally think that the gold tiger is kind of ugly. Should have made more like... Brrr. 
Arr. You want to do? Yeah. Because like, if you're from far away, if you came and tell, that might look like a rat. Like that? Doesn't that look like a rat? In, in, in a little bit? I don't know. That's just for me. But the rest of the band is good. Red color, gold color. Correct theme. I give you that. And double band. Cool. So, yeah, let's finish the last stir and we'll go to the last band and then we'll go to the summary. I haven't even looked at the last band yet. I've just been smoking it. So, be right back. Right. We're back. Last a little bit. We're done. Um, like I said, nothing changed. Nothing changed. It is an enjoyable cigar, but just nothing changed. Okay, and I struggled to reach that $84 range. <sighs> so, including the box, that $20 we give is about $50 to $60 cigar to me. To me, okay? More like, I want to put it in the $50 range. More towards the $50 range than the $60. But here is the band. It's pretty cool. It's tried to, you know, it's got this like grit that kind of symbolizes the the ring that they have out there. But at the same time, it's like it almost looked like the tree thingy, the tree trunk, the age ring. So it kind of have that feel to it. It's pretty cool. My issue with this band is that the, the color theme does not match the bottom. They look like two separate, complete, separate thing. It just doesn't match. But I still think it's pretty cool. I, I like the holographic effect on this. You know, it has a little bit of holographic effect. You can see, like rainbow color here and there. So that that is something that they design is pretty cool. But I do think that this band particularly is more of a mismatch than this band. But they try. I think that they try. Um, I wanna. I don't. I don't see a particular grid that will symbolize the twelve zodiac. But I guess that's. That's what they decided with. So, I, it does catch eye. Sure. In terms of the whole presentation, I think there is some thought to it, but delivery is not the same. They should have consulted an agent, right? They should have talked to agents like, what would that be? What would that look like? But I don't think they did enough of that or have somebody that's knowledgeable enough to tell you, hey, that looks kind of different. I mean, if you want to put a Zodiac, you're going to have a unified look to it. And, and, and to be honest, if you got to do something elaborate like that box, you could just fan out that 12 cigars in that ring that they're doing. Well, it looked much cooler, in my opinion. But, you know, everybody have a different design. Um, my opinion is just my opinion, right? So, yeah, they did an okay job. I don't want to say it like it's a negative thing. It's pretty cool. But I don't think that they deliver a $1,000 presentation. That might sound weird, but I, I don't think they delivered that $1,000 presentation. I think a $1,000 cigar box will be different. At least for me, it will be. But, you know, that's what they came up with. And that's number one. Number two is that the fact that they arranged it so that one box had 12. I also think that is easier for some collector. But for collectors like me, it makes me not want to buy it because I know that the moment I smoke one cigar, that collection is gone. Right? And to get a refill, it'll be hard because I have to find a place that's willing to break up their boxes. That is another thing. And the third thing is, you know, like I said, you have somebody shout out $1,000 for a collection of cigars. That's pretty hard too. But I'm not saying that they can't release an ultra premium cigar. Just what I feel like this cigar was an ultra premium. Um, even though they decked it out. It's pretty cool. You know, they got a box, they got a sleeve, they got, you know, all that stuff there. They got all those elements, but I don't think they matched. I don't think they, they, they deliver the way it's supposed to be. All right? Like I say, EPC, you guys have really good designs, but sometimes I do feel like you need to consult a real Asian that will say, hey, this is the design that will attract more Asian 
correctly than not, than just the regular collectors. Because I think if you did it right, got the characters right, got everything right, you can attract not only the people that's going to buy it anyway, because they can't understand it anyway, and the people that's a hardcore uh, Asian who are very, very involved, or not involved, but very knowledgeable about the concept of Zodiacs. And that would really get people to buy them. But there's not a lot. You guys sold out anyway, so not a big deal. But yeah, you know, I wish you guys made it much better so that it attract me the moment I see it. I will have bought a box. But I don't think they would care because they sold out. <laughs> I, I, I really just, I feel bad that it's not fully delivered. It's missing some part of it. The element is not enough. For a thousand dollar, you would think that all that has been considered, but it wasn't there. I mean, this box, if you sold it at six hundred dollars, I think it will sell very well. You can produce twice as amount and sell very well. Is there profit still there? I think so. I think there's a lot of profit still in the six hundred dollar box for that particular cigar and blends and all that stuff. Is it annoying to do? Yeah, you gotta put one of each different cigar in there. But so is any sampler, right? So I do see issues in the whole presentation, but that's not really directly related to the cigar itself, but the package itself. But on the cigar itself, when I single it out, it doesn't make me feel like I bought a 80 something dollar cigar. So that has to do with the overall feel of the whole package. That's why I mentioned it, okay? So yeah. That's what it is. Big shout out to Smoke One. If you have one, give me the cigar because I think that he only got one of these and he sent it to me and he didn't have a review for it. So, but then again, don't have all twelve, so we can we, we cannot re review all twelve. But hey, EPC, if you want to send me a whole box to review, I will review it. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that stuff. You know, you know the deal. You know the deal, right? Uh, and if you don't like it, well, well, hopefully the next one is better. You know, I don't always have something interesting to say about cigar. You know, a lot of time, cigar is just what it is, right? If you find something interesting, you have something to say. If you don't find something interesting, you don't have, you know? And this cigar review is getting really, really long because I ramble on and digress. So, I will see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.